Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we're going to go ahead and continue on with our submarine. As you guys can see right here, we did end up painting it, we added a conning tower, and uh, it all around actually just looks okay. But uh, what I decided we would do today is we'd actually add a propeller to the back, uh, so that we can actually get this thing moving forwards. Uh, we'll add some sort of, I don't know, some sort of... Um, rudder and stuff like that as well. Uh, we might actually add some dive planes as well. So, uh, the whole idea is to see what this thing will actually be like as it moves. Um, and yeah, we won't add the nuclear reactor today, but we will probably do that at some point soon. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing moving and, uh, we'll see how that goes. Alright, so there are actually multiple ways of doing this. I was thinking that maybe, maybe, maybe we could actually have it so that we have two propellers. Uh, but at the same time, that would be pretty weird. So, let's go ahead and see what that would look like. If I, let's say, delete this piece. Uh, and we have our propellers coming out of here. Because, you know, this is where they would end up going. So, let's get ourselves some pipes. And we'll put them in. And we'll see if this looks any good or not. Because it might, it might not. There we go, to about there. Awesome. Get ourselves a propeller as well, which is not going to be a massive one, but it's going to be a smallish one. Large, there we go. Oh, if that, if only that fit. If that fit right there, that would be awesome. But it doesn't currently fit. That sucks. Uh, but it does fit if we do that. So, let's do that. Yeah, why not? Alright, whack those on there. That's awesome. Uh, we'll go ahead and paint the side to this. And it won't really be recognizable, but... um. Yeah, this is going to be okay. This is going to be good. So, drag that in right there. I forgot to paint that piece. Uh, we'll actually paint these pieces as well. All on the inside. That's okay. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll fill this little section in in the middle. Like so. Uh, and we'll fill this in too. Alright, cool. That actually looks okay. That looks really good. Okay, so on the side of these then, we're going to go ahead and put some control surfaces. We're going to have it go out like this on the side. Uh, and put the control surface on the back of that. Because... I think we should. They're going to be small ones, because I, I don't think they should be that big. Uh, and they're going to go right there. Yeah, actually, no. No, 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 no. A little bit further forwards. So we're going to have to delete this piece, which is okay. Uh, fill this in like this. Okay, delete this and this. And do that. There we go. Get ourselves the control surface. Put it on. There we go. Awesome. Delete these pieces. And uh, we're actually going to attach this back together like... Um, where is it? Like this. There we go. So put this piece on right here. Like so. Drag it forwards if we can. That would be amazing. There we go. Just like that. And we'll attach those together like so. Boop. And boop. There we go. Awesome. Yes. All right. That makes sense. Uh, we'll then actually put this piece on here. And we'll actually put this piece on the back just like this. And that makes sense to me. That actually looks all right. Yeah. So you will actually notice from this then that I'm not going strictly off of a U-boat because if I was going off of a U-boat, it would not look like this at the back. Um, but that's all right because we don't have to continue uh, doing things the way that, you know, everybody thinks we're going to do them uh, because we're different. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and put that right there like that. We'll go ahead and fill this in right here and we'll paint these pieces. There we go. Uh, we're actually going to put one of these, um, one of these right here as well. Now, this may or may not look good. I'm actually thinking that it might not look that good, but I think it'll look okay. So, let's go ahead and put this on here like this. There we go. Delete this little section right here and attach those together, if I can. Whoop, there we go. And that is awesome. So, there we go. That is what the back end is going to look like. It looks a bit weird, but it will totally work. Okay, so now for the testing part. We need to go ahead and actually attach these to the motor. So, let's get ourselves a gearbox first. We'll go ahead and whack one of these on. Right there like that. We'll have two. That makes sense. Uh, we'll then have it come sideways. So, let me go ahead and grab some pipes. Uh, and we'll have it come inwards. Just like so. There we go. Awesome. We'll have it come this way. Uh, just like this. And like this. And we'll have it come out of there. Like so. And then we'll connect them all together. And that will happen just like this. All right, perfect. Uh, we're also going to add some batteries in. This is literally just for testing. Uh, so let's go and put this towards the front. In fact, at the very front, we'll put this. There we go. Uh, we'll have one at the very back as well. If I can fit it back. Oh, oh God. Uh, if I can fit it behind. Right there. That's awesome. Uh, we'll actually put another one at the back. And we'll put another one at the front. Now, these aren't going to stay in. Uh, these are purely for testing. Alright, so that should actually work out pretty well then. So, the only thing that I want to do now is I want to add some dive planes to the front. 
uh, because I think that is something we should totally do. So let me go ahead and add some of these. There we go. Go ahead and do that. That's awesome. Uh, and that is actually how big it's going to be, I think. So we'll actually just do this. And that's it, actually. There we go. Delete that. Delete that. Get ourselves some rudders. And we'll put those on. Here we go. And they kind of have to be the opposite to the ones at the back. So uh, the empty side up. Here we go. Empty side up. That's awesome. Go ahead and put this piece on here like this. And put this piece on here like that. There we go. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Okay, good. They're very small, but uh, they should work. They should totally work. Okay, so now it's time to actually get ourselves a helm uh, and actually put this in. So uh, where I was actually thinking of putting this, just for testing, is actually in here. Uh, we could, in theory, put a window in. Uh, but we don't really want to do that, do we? No. That's not something we really want to do. So we won't do that. Uh, but we will attach all of this together. I'll get it working and uh, we'll test it out. All right, there we go. So that's all connected together like that. That's awesome. We then need to go ahead and connect these together. So uh, I think what we'll do is we'll have up and down, be forwards and backwards. All right, which goes straight to the motor. We'll have all A and D be left and right. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, A and D be the left and right. Good. W and S is going to be the dive planes. Let's go ahead and we'll connect all of these together. And the actual things at the back as well. And that is it, I believe. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit faster. There we go, three to two. We'll do three to two on this one as well. And that should be it, that should be good. All right, so spawning in, this is with the extra batteries. So we should sit a little bit lower in the water, which indeed we do. Let's go ahead and jump on board, get inside and uh, drive this thing. Yeah, it's not gonna be too balanced, but I guess that's okay. All right, drive forwards. It's not doing anything. Did I connect these together properly? I don't know if I did. Never mind, I was pressing the wrong button. I was totally pressing the wrong button. All right, let's go inside, here we go. Open the door, close the door, sit in the seat. Uh, and here we go, you ready? Go. All right, so it's pretty quick with this motor and it tips over instantly. That's not the best. That's not the best. All right, we need to weigh it down a little bit. So what I'm gonna do uh, is I'm gonna grab it. We're gonna put some weight on the bottom to make it less wobbly. Uh, we'll, we'll work out like that. Okay, there we go. So now it's sat a lot more underwater, but that's okay, because we will work out this stuff later on. All I wanted to do is see if it would actually move forwards or backwards, and see if it would turn as well. So, let's go ahead and see if we can get it turning. Here we go. Without tipping over, that would be better. <laughs> It'd be better if it didn't tip over. Can we go underneath the water? <gasps> we can actually dive. Oh. Interesting. It's very... It's very difficult to know what does what currently on this submarine. But it is... Currently... Underwater. Uh, I don't know if the dive planes are doing anything. Oh, they are. They are. Alright, there we go. Okay, cool. This is weird. This is very strange. So, it obviously wants to surface. We don't have neutral points yet. But, um... That's cool. Yeah, that is cool. I'm gonna have to come up with some sort of idea that um, allows us to not tip over because obviously we are tipping over quite a bit recently or like at the moment. So let's go inside. We'll actually delete this on both sides. That makes sense. Spawn it in. That's now gonna be air on the, on the outside. Uh, and that means that we should now be a little bit more stable, maybe. All right, here we go. So uh, we are actually turning now. We're at full speed forwards. Uh, and we are tipping over quite a bit. However, it does write itself out. So uh, we have sort of fixed a little bit of the problem there. But um, we obviously need to fix it a little bit more. However, um, it does totally work the way I want it to. Which is perfect. Okay, so that isn't it for what we actually want to do today. We're going to go ahead and add some rope anchors to the top. I want it to um, be quite cool. So I want actual like rope anchors... I don't know, dotted around this place, so we'll have some at the front right here. Uh, we'll actually put those in like this, that makes sense. Uh, we will actually paint those properly as well. Although, actually, no, we will. We'll paint those properly. Uh, and we'll be attaching these up to there. It doesn't really make too much sense, but I think it, in the long run, this works. Alright, we're then going to have some rope anchors on here as well. So let me go ahead and grab this one, and we'll put it right in there straight away. Uh, it's going to go in just like this, that's okay. Uh, we're actually going to have a piece right here where it also does the same thing. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and paint all of it in, so paint those. Uh, that one's already painted, so that's good. Uh, but this thing needs painting, 
And it also needs painting on this side. All right, spawn it in. See what that looks like. Okay, so we got the rope on the front. That looks okay. We then need the rope on the back. Uh, that might look a little bit weird, but that's okay. Uh, and I'm not sure what to do with the back area itself. Because that looks very strange. All right, cool. So all that's done. Let's go ahead and uh, figure out some other things then. So I'm thinking I want it to look a little bit more like a U-boat. Uh, so in order to do that, we're going to delete this piece right here and this piece. All right, we're going to go across about three. Delete both of those. Go about three. There we go. Delete those. Three. Delete those. Three. Delete those. Uh, and that looks okay to me. We'll do one more. There we go. Uh, and we'll do a little bit at the back as well. So we'll do one here. Like so. Uh, we'll do one here, and we'll do one here. There we go. Now right, fill these little bits in in the bottom, so we don't constantly sink. There we go. Uh, and that looks pretty cool. However, if we put these in, it might look a little bit better. I think it does, actually. There we go. We'll put all of these in, because I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, and we'll do the same thing back here. And yeah, that looks awesome. All right, we need a little bit more, I, I guess, decorations. So we're actually going to do something like this from the front. We're going to go up backwards like this. We're then going to put a piece in like this piece, like this. Uh, and we're going to put some rope on the front of that because it just makes sense to me. I think it looks, I think this will look quite, kind of cool, actually. Uh, so we'll have that in there like that. Um, I'm going to, oh, I guess that's going to be fine like that. Uh, I want to put in more pieces to make this look kind of cool, like a little bit better. But I'm not entirely sure what to, oh, that looks all right. Yeah, we'll put that in. Cool. All right, so that looks really strange. Don't know why I've done that, but there you go. Uh, and that is actually going to come up to here as well, because reasons. Let's go ahead and spawn this in. See what that looks like. There we go. We got the long ropes and everything. I wish you could choose how tight these ropes actually were. Because at the moment, that would have to be a winch. Uh, and it would have to winch in a little bit at the start. But um, yeah, I don't like how droopy these are. But anyway, that's okay. Those things look pretty good, except I think I'm going to paint them quite dark uh, so that they look like actual inlets. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete these. We're going to go ahead and build something up from here, I believe, like this. There we go. Uh, we'll actually have the rope anchors on the back of that because that totally makes sense. So we'll have them there like that. That makes a lot more sense because we have a little bit more height to actually attach these on and that, that works. Uh, as for the bit at the front, I'm thinking we delete this and we actually put a winch in which automatically winches in just a little bit um, And I don't really know how I want to do this. Do I want to do it like that? Do these pieces actually need to be attached or can we only attach it to one? Can we attach these to here? Does that make any sense? I'm not sure. Let's go and spawn that in No, yeah, that actually works. That totally works the way it is actually uh, those ah. Oh, I wish you could choose the tightness, because that sucks. That's really annoying. All right, okay, so let's add a little bit more decoration to the outside, and I think that will be it for today's video. I wasn't entirely sure what to do today, uh, and I figured it would be kind of cool to uh, get this thing moving, and we have. We've got it moving. We just need to be able to put the nuclear reactor in to actually uh, power the thing, and then once we've done that, we should be good to go with, like, everything else, because we can't really build the inside, until we've built the actual nuclear reactor, because it's going to be big. So, um, yeah, we need to do that first, but then once that's in, it's going to be great. Okay, so let's go ahead and sort out some things on the outside then. We need to go ahead and delete this down the middle. Uh, we're going to go ahead and delete a whole chunk. We're then going to go ahead and get some sort of fluid ports. Um, like, wait, what are these? Oh, wow, that's big. That is a big boy thing. He exchanged a 2x5. Whoa, look at that. What do you mean two by five? It's bigger than that. Two by five. Oh, okay, two this way. Interesting. Um, yeah, I want to add like some random things that will make this thing look cool. So I'm not sure what to add here, but I am thinking that maybe some of these would actually work out quite well or quite nicely on the deck. So that is what we're going to add. There we go. Uh, and they're going to go just there. That makes sense. Go ahead and paint these in. Awesome. Uh, and then on these pieces, we'll delete these. We'll put in a block like this one. And we'll put in a paint block. And we'll do it that way. Paintable sign. Whack it in. There we go. Uh, paint it. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Paint all the inside. That's okay. Uh, and then on the outside, we'll go ahead and make it the other color. Uh, and that is awesome. All right, here we go. Drag it the other color. Boop, boop. There we go. Nice. 
Yeah, so like I say, um, we needed some sort of detail on the deck, and that is a little bit of detail. It's obviously not the best, and it's not a lot of detail, but it's a little bit. Uh, it's something, so that's good. We're then going to go ahead and add some random other things. I'm thinking these would look cool uh, up here, but I am thinking just one on one side, so delete this. Get it in the right colors, because uh, that makes sense. Here we go. Get it in this color, uh, and we'll just whack that on there, like so. Go to the other side, we'll add something else like this there we go uh, and obviously paint the tops of these so they look okay there we go paint the top of that paint the top of that that is awesome this might be a weird design choice but i've gone ahead and added a hood uh like this because it looks i don't know it looks kind of interesting it adds a little bit better detail uh, and i actually think that looks pretty good so we're gonna keep that there is there anything else that i want to add as little mini details i'm not sure all right, I've got a temperature probe. Let's go ahead and just whack that on the uh, the, the front of the deck. There we go. Uh, we can just put that right there. That's okay. Uh, some random other things that would be nice. Um, a transponder. We could go ahead and put this somewhere. We'll put it on one side up there. Uh, actually, we'll put it on the side of the thing. There we go. Down there somewhere. That makes sense. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and have the transponder locator on the other side in the same place. Here we go. Like this. That totally makes sense. Uh, and we're gonna paint the outside. There we go. Now that's good. Uh, anything else that we should totally add? Rain sensor? Doesn't really matter. But we'll go ahead and put one in anyway. There we go. And we'll paint this the right color as well. There we go. Uh, anything else? Speed sensor? Oh, we totally need one. But where should it go? I don't know. I don't know where it should go. Back there? Alright, there we go. Paint them. Uh, should I put this back on? I can. There we go. We'll leave that there. Good. So we've got a speed sensor now. That's awesome. We've got laser pointers, GPS. Let's go ahead and whack this on up here as well. It's all going on here, which is really random, but it totally works. Um, and that is it. I think that's all I want to add up there. Yeah. Okay, so another thing I'm going to add then is I'm going to add these random pieces down the outside like this. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and put them on. Press U, turn them around, and whack that back on there like that. We're going to do the same thing right here as well. Uh, and I should really be doing this on the other side. Oh, that sucks. Why am I doing this? There we go. Put that one on. Put that one on. Delete this. Press U. Turn it around. Whack this on here. And whack this on here. Okay, very good. So they actually go up into there. That's awesome. Looks really good. Okay, back to these things. Sorry, really quickly. Alright, grab this color. We're going to go ahead and make it a little bit darker. Uh, like this. And we're actually going to put this in like this. There we go. So you can actually see that it's a slightly different color. Because reasons and stuff? I don't know. I don't know why I decided to do that, but I think it makes sense. Maybe. Okay, dokily then. Spawn it back in. See what that looks like. I think all the random stuff actually looks pretty good. Uh, that right there doesn't look the best because it's shiny. But um, other than that, that's alright. Those look good. That actual deck bit right there. We'll probably do a similar thing on the back as well soon. Uh, these, you can't tell that I changed the color, can you? You can't tell that I changed the color, but that's alright too. As for the back end... I don't really know what to do back here, so I don't know. If you guys have any ideas on what I could do back there, let me know in the comments down below. But um, I think I'm going to end this video here for now. We made it so that we actually move, which is perfect. Uh, and we also tested it out, which is also pretty good. Uh, we just need it to work a little bit better. That's all. But anyway, let's go ahead and turn. Uh, we do need some other, like, turning aids. That would be pretty good. Um, yeah. Alright, then let's try and dive. So... If we press W, it goes up. Press S, it goes down. Alright, here we go. You ready? Go, go, go. There we go. We can dive. Awesome. And then we can actually go back up. Oh, wow. It's very, uh... Unresponsive when it's under the water. Oh! Whoa! Jesus! Okay, well, we beached our submarine. Interesting. All right, so yeah, we do need to work on that a lot more. Uh, we need the rudder to work a lot better as well. And then we also need to have it so that it's a little bit more stable once it's in the water. Because at the moment, it's not the best. But anyway, uh, I like it. I actually really, really like this boat. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave this here for now. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.